There is a new application by Blackmagic Design that was just released that's going to allow you to use your iPhone as a film making tool. But on the top of that, you can use the same application to get what's called a clean HDMI out of your camera. And then for that, you're gonna be able to use a little adapter like this one that I have right here. I'm gonna put a link down below. But this is a lightning to HDMI um, converter, right? That you can get from Apple Store or Amazon, most electronic stores anyways. You can connect an HDMI cable, which is what I'm doing right now, and send the feed into a capture card or a switcher or an HDMI switcher, something like the ATEM Mini Pro, which is what I'm doing right now. In fact, if I switch to this angle, this is the feed coming directly from my phone. I have my phone connected to my ATEM Mini Pro and I can switch to camera one, of course, which is my main camera, camera two, which is my overhead, and then we can go to camera four, which is my phone. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your phone and use this application. It's called Blackmagic Camera and it's 100% free. Use it to enable the clean HDMI out and be able to use your phone. And of course, it's gonna add more value by giving you some controls over like your which lens to choose from. So right now I can switch to the other lens. I can go back to the front camera. I can adjust my shutter speed. I can adjust my white balance, which is very, very important, especially if you have another camera and you want to make sure you're matching the images coming from both cameras adjusting your white balance is awesome so this application is cool and i'm gonna show you how to actually get that clean hmi to be able to live stream using obs so let's go what's up guys my name is sam and you're watching live production tips and tools we have this application already ready it just came out so i can now record my screen and show you all the settings so i'm gonna have to use my phone like this to be able to record my screen once you have the application open you can see you got all the settings here in front of you including your lens so if we start from here all right you can go ahead and switch to the back lens. For me, I have actually two lenses. For the back camera, we got FPS. You can change your frame rate, okay? So usually I use 30 frames per second, especially when I'm live streaming. And of course you can change to 60 frames per second, 50 frames per second, whatever you want. Your shutter speed, usually most of the time I use double of my frame rate. So it's one over 60, as you can see. But again, you have the controls to change that as well. Your iris for now is kind of locked, but I can go to my ISO and I'm going to adjust it to my liking. So if I want the image to be darker, I can do that. So this is going to depend on you. And then your white balance, as you can see, my mine is set at 5600 Kelvin, which is the exact white balance or color temperature of my key light, which is important. Even my main camera is actually set at that same color temperature, which is amazing. So this is cool. My tint, usually I keep it at zero unless I want to change maybe if the color is kind of weird and I want to match whatever the other camera has. If you go to settings here, you can go to camera, and you got all the settings here. Most of the, these settings are going to be for film making, okay? The most important setting that you need here for live streaming or using your phone as an HDMI camera, you go to monitor here, and then you're gonna go here where it says HDMI clean feed. So you wanna make sure this is checked because if I uncheck it and I switch to camera four, as you can see, the screen is kinda blank. Um, usually would actually show some information on the screen but I can check it back. As you can see, everything is connected. Cable here, you got my phone here, going directly into my ATEM Mini, connected to camera four right here. So if I hit camera four, my ATEM Mini Pro is sending the signal into Streamlabs. And as you can see, I got the camera. It's right there, no problem. This is how you do it for the settings part, all right? So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and open OBS, and I'm gonna show you how to add your camera in OBS for live streaming. So guys, right now I have OBS open. So usually how we, it would work is uh, you would go ahead and go to OBS and open the first scene, 
and you can call it phone because your phone usually is going to be connected using something like the ATEM mini or you could use a capture card by the way it doesn't have to be the ATEM mini it could be a capture card that you would use something like this one so you what you do instead of connecting your HDMI into the ATEM mini pro you would connect that HDMI into this capture card and then the USB part is gonna go into your computer and then once you go to OBS you're gonna go ahead and click the plus sign okay and then you're gonna go to video capture device and then you can call it iPhone Let's say iPhone HDMI and what you're gonna do is OBS is gonna suggest you a lot of devices depending on what you have and then for us we got the black magic design that's where the iPhone is actually connected to so you can go ahead and add it but because I'm using it in Streamlabs obviously it's not gonna show up here I'm gonna go ahead and choose Streamlabs desktop visual webcam okay because that's the same feed coming from Streamlabs okay again this is a little different but that's how it would work usually and then it's gonna show up here and boom you can actually go ahead and click ok for resolution you can use custom and go ahead and use 1920 by 1080p this one right here and hit ok so after doing that all you need is gonna be to add audio device could be a microphone or something else and then of course do the full kind of you know your scenes depending on what kind of scenes you need for live streaming and actually be able to go live using obs again this is for another topic for this video really the most important part is to get to know how to use a clean hdmi from your phone using this application going into any capture card either the ATEM mini pro or any little cheap capture card like this one and be able to connect that to obs and go live and we just did it but again if you want to do exactly the same thing but without using an hmi cable wireless could be an option and i have a video that i made here using an application called iRyan. it's gonna be linked here and i will see you guys there if you want to watch it of course thanks